Hey everyone, it's Rena. It's been a while, sorry. Uh, I didn't do any more than just one video last week because I was busy getting my sleep schedule back on track again. In any case, I wanted to do a vlog detailing what happened this weekend because it was so much fun. For those of you who don't know, I spin as well as knit. This is one of my spinning projects that I've had going for a few months on and off now. I have a lot of fun with it. It's not something I do as much as knitting um, because it's harder to design things with it. So this is some of my undyed Cormo that I spun on my Turkish. Um, it's a Cormo Hoggett that I got in 2009 and I still haven't worked through most of it. So thankfully this is the only fleece that I have in my stash. But um, you can see it's like a pure white. It's really, really thin on this. This is actually chain plied, so this is a three ply. And it's, it's really bouncy and really light and fluffy and I love it. And this is some of the same stuff that I spun four or five years ago. And I threw it in the dye pot on Saturday, hoping for this color. The first time I put it through, um, I used all jacquard dyes and I first just did um, some vermilion with a little bit of burgundy and a little bit of the Aztec gold and it turned out a really weird pink color. I threw it in the dye pot again after letting it sit and dry and I put it in with a half teaspoon of uh, crimson and that was it and it took up all of the dye and I turned out with this gorgeous color and I'm really happy with it. Um, this yarn is 180 yards worsted weight, um, 2 by 2 cabled yarn, and it <laughs> it's so soft and squashy and I love it a lot. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I love it a lot, so it's, it's one of my babies. I ended up steam dyeing this one because I had a bunch of other stuff that we were putting in the steam pot, so I don't know if I like the yellow, I might over dye it with a little bit of orange or red. Um, my friend Emily came up this weekend and she is a fantastic fiber artist. She's amazingly talented. She and I decided to dye some of the locks that we had and we did some rainbow horizontal like dyeing so it's from tip to cut end and it's a rainbow and we just did primaries and a little bit of purple on the end and let it muddy and it turned out beautifully actually, it turned out perfect. We also did some pink, blue, and purple and it's just really pretty and I'm really happy with it. My friend was working on this shawl. She wasn't done with it, she was trying to get it done before putting it in the dye pot. And then she got impatient and basically said, well I'm gonna throw it in anyway. She dyed it while she was like in the middle of a row. And I'm just like, what are you doing? That's amazing. How are you doing this? And it turned out beautiful, of course. It, it's like a an autumn orange type of color. It's really pretty. Oh gosh, I'll have to ask her again, but if I find the pattern, I will link it in the description down there. That was my weekend. I'll see you all later. Bye.